Hi Lemon Squeezy fans! Today, we'll be using some things I found while I was thrift store hunting. Stores actually have a lot of really cool things, and some of them are really odd, so when they're mini, I like to grab them. So I'll show you one of the things that I saw today. I got this foldable miniature picture frame for $2. You can fold it up and unfold it flat and it stands up pretty nicely it has picture frames inside of it and it looks like it's about a little less than a foot tall so I'm going to take this old picture frame and repurpose it for dolls you probably saw it coming didn't you <laughs> I'm going to add this video onto another one of Rain's desk decorations, so let's get crafting. I thought about repainting this, but I honestly like the finished wood look because not many doll crafts actually have real wood. So I think I'm going to leave it like this. But first, we got to peel off the sticker. <laughs> Okay, and we're back on. So I got this sticky off too. There's a little left, but I don't see it very well, so I'm going to leave it. And if you do have more sticky, you can always use WD-40 or Goo Gone or water and soap to get it off. Okay, so here is our fold foldable picture frame. So I'm going to use some old paint by number paints. Um, a silver metallic paint. I'm just going to use one rounded paintbrush because I think I could create kind of a similar look with all of these if I use the same one. I'm going to start with this gray. So I'm going to fold it so it has a better base and just kind of make some marks on the glass, I guess. Okay, now that honestly just made it look dirty, but this will get better. So just kind of add this to the rest or not all of your um, empty frames. So I finished painting the gray or silver and I'm going to add some color into it but I'm leaving these four blank. I'm just going the opposite direction of the gray paint. So I have way too much fabric here. <laughs> I'm going to cut about a uh, two and a half inches strip, keeping the frayed edge. It doesn't matter how straight for this. Take your fabric and pull it so it has some lines. I'm going to cut off this really frayed part. And this can be draped across the top. So I'm definitely gonna need to hot glue this. So while I'm waiting for my glue gun to heat up, I'm going to take some other fabrics and see how they line up. I like the pink a lot, but I had to take off our gold. I don't think I'm digging the pink, so I'm going to keep this gold. And I cut a strip of the blue sparkly tool that was already creased and add that with it. Now the glue gun's heated up, so we got a glue. I'm going to hang this down on the side and tuck it in with the glue on the top. The 
But before I glue that down, let's add some lighting. So I have these rose gold fairy lights from Target. They're really twisty because I use them for about everything because they are the only set of fairy lights that I have. Here's what they look like on. I'm going to untangle them. Take off the blue fabric. I need these lights across your foldable picture frame for a little bit of a whimsical effect. So this extra cord is really long. Um, I'm just going to put it behind here just to hide it. I think now I'm going to follow the lights with this blue sparkly teal fabric. I'm going to kind of wrap it around the lights too just to help keep it at a natural looking swoop. This pink fabric might actually be useful in this project since it has our lights on rose gold. But I don't think I'm going to use a ton. I might just swoop this over the side here. Kind of like a curtain. I'm going to take a little fake flower and add this in for more decor. I'm going to glue some beads in the center of another empty frame. Since this is all in glass, I can always pop this off and razor blade the paint off if I want to redo this. I'm actually going to get rid of this pink because I don't care for it. I think this orange moss would look pretty good with this, so I'm going to take a chunk, kind of spread it apart, and work it in with the blue fabric and the lights. So you can add some more decorative beads if you'd like, but honestly, I think this is done. We set the mood with our fairy lights. This swoop of the fabric gives it a little um, whimsical feel. These paintings here give it an abstract modern touch, and I think our beads and flowers were just right. Now let's see how it looks. <laughs> 